Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today we're gonna to be reviewing one of the new NARS foundations, which I'm really excited about. I didn't think I was gonna review this one because of my skin type, honestly, but I'll get into that later. But so many of you requested it when I shared this on my stories, so. That's why we're here today. And before we jump into the video, I'm gonna do my post notification shout out. And today's one's gonna to go to Ivy May. So thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys wanna get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. So these are the new Soft Matte Complete Foundations. I was sent Syracuse, Tahoe, and Moria. Now I'm usually Tahoe when I use any NARS foundations, but it's definitely more my summer shade. I was quite pleased to see that they sent me Syracuse, which is medium deep one, and Tahoe is medium deep two, and Moria is medium deep 2.3. Just to help you guys out, I'm gonna swatch these because you find these really helpful. So that's Syracuse, which I think is gonna be a good match. And I think these are not meant to oxidize, so hopefully it doesn't go dark on me. This is Tahoe, which seems like an actual like good match compared to my other foundations from NARS. Syracuse definitely has a bit more peach undertones to it, and Tahoe's more orange. And then finally we've got Maria which is actually a very beautiful shade as well. Definitely more on the golden side um, and a little bit darker, of course. So we've got Syracuse, Tahoe and Moria. So usually I don't really use matte foundations. Like I just tend to stay away with, from them naturally. Normally I like dewy full coverage or natural kind of like coverage foundations but one of my all time favorite foundations is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, which is a matte. To me, it's a matte foundation. So I was like, do you know what? I'm actually gonna give this a go. I have really dry skin and I've moisturized really well. That's what I tend to do when I have, when I use more matte foundations. Um, not as dry as it could be because usually I get flaking, but with my skincare that I've been using, it's really been helping with the flaking. I haven't got that in a long time. But anyways, that aside, let's start applying this foundation. First, I'm just gonna see what it claims to do. It says it's medium to full buildable coverage. We love that. Natural soft matte finish like the sound of that as well um 16 hour wear uh, oil free oxidization resistance that's what i was saying it's not it shouldn't really go too dark once i've applied it um shine proof transfer proof transfer pr uh, humidity proof sweat proof and protects from pollution and blue light that's actually not bad you know so it says it's a new hydromat balancing complex which balances excess sebum while keeping skin hydrated with a combination of microalgae and biohyaluronic acid so i kind of like that it's not like a super dry matte foundation because i've tried foundations like that and it really just does not sit right on my skin so i love that there's a hydrating aspect to it obviously we can't fault nars shade range okay let me just quickly check because we just never know mm, i don't know what's the darkest shade marley is Marley the darkest shade? Hmm, I feel like they could do with more shades. Hmm. I did feel like, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I did feel like Nars had a good range, but if you just look at all like the fairer shades and you go into the medium and you go to tan and then you have the deeper shades, I feel like there could be a bit more because if you compare that to that, I feel like there could be a bit more on this end, you know? And I also do feel like they could do more shades that are definitely more deeper yeah i just feel like there should be more shades more shades in a deeper end i know you guys want to see how this applies it's actually very similar to the consistency of the estee lauder double wear foundation it's kind of like liquidy i'm not gonna apply too much i'm just gonna like distribute this this is let me tell me this is cyrocles yes yeah, cyrocles i'll leave a list of all the other shades that i use with my other foundations so far this is looking like a good match i'm going to use my beauty blender oh my cheek is still sore from like the root canal oh Honestly, it's been, what, five days now since I did it? And I'm just waiting for the pain to go because it's actually insane. I, I I'm literally living on painkillers. Okay, sorry, but this is blending really nicely. 
and the shade is beautiful I'm just gonna put a little bit around my mouth area to those nose crevices wow wow hello i love this thing i need to keep this definitely on the medium to full coverage and a little bit dry my nose i'm not gonna lie got a little bit dry here's just a close-up I definitely feel like this glow that's showing through is from the skincare underneath but so far this is blending really really nicely but yeah like I said the only thing that I'm noticing is the dryness on my nose I don't know if you'd be able to see on my camera but you would really have to look up close all right i'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and i'll be right back all right guys this is the final look yeah so far i'm so pleased with everything right now like the way this is sitting on my skin no joke like it's so flawless this is why like i love my estee lauder foundation because because of the matteness of it it just makes your skin look so flawless and it's the same with this definitely more on the matte side but i'm not mad at it i feel like it looks really good and i do feel like this can last the 16 hours but we're gonna put it to the test it's actually now what time is it 8 30 a.m so i think i can wear this for good nine hours let's hope <laughs> i'm gonna try and keep it as long as i can this is what the skin's looking like i would definitely say it's like a medium to full coverage you can build on it it's covered most of the pigmentation around my mouth um you can see a little bit of scarring through but i didn't put too much on my cheeks to be honest i just feel like it will start to feel a bit more heavier but so far no tight feeling my i feel like my skin's breathing so yeah we'll see how this holds up throughout the day guys all right guys i'm back oh my god i just finished like a workout and I can, you know when you just can't lift your arms they're like jelly and shaking i was like putting my lipstick in my hands like this but anyways it's now 6 p.m 607 to be exact and uh, when did i put this on 8 30. uh let me do the math i'll be right back i've had the foundation on for nine and a half hours or so and yeah i just want to like take a shower and I'm, I'm literally exhausted guys okay let me just say that the foundation has not budged a bit like the only thing that's budged is my mascara and in my eyes but that's okay but can i just say as well i got sent the soft matte complete concealer pots i already have this but i didn't realize how good it is i put biscuit today and it's actually really good it's held up really nicely there are some dry patches i'm not gonna lie but overall it looks really flawless if you go up close you can see some dryness but it's like if you're like up here you're not gonna see it but if you're like up here then you'll see it there's no smile lines which i'm really pleased about um it it, it photographs so nicely like if you're filming or you've got a special occasion and you know you're going to take a lot of photos this is the foundation i'll put a photo up here but i put it on my instagram already but literally there's just a lighting in front of me but that's just my front camera from my iphone with no filters or anything and it just it looked so flawless with the dryness i think that dryness is kind of bugging me but i would rate this a good 7 out of 10 like it's a really good foundation um it's very long wearing and i don't doubt this could go even more hours with on my face i love that there's no smile lines but i'm just rating it down because of the shade range i feel like they could have more deeper shades and the dryness that it's causing me because it's just my skin type for my skin type as someone who has really really dry skin it's a 7 out of 10 i wouldn't say like i would it's my go-to but I would consider it if I had like a special occasion. I do prefer how the Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation sits on me, but the the shade Syracuse is a better match actually. So yeah, they're both really good, but I definitely prefer the Estee Lauder foundation. Like I said, if you have normal to combination to oily skin, you might love this foundation. It wouldn't dry you out at all. Um, I'm not like shiny anywhere, so it's definitely matte. Um, if you see a glow, that's because of the skincare underneath, and I've also like worked out 
definitely sweat proof and the transfer proof like I didn't go out today but I would say it's transfer proof that's just my lipstick the only thing that's coming off is the bronzer but literally this is a foundation I would wear with a mask because it's kind of like the NYX um, can't stop won't stop like there was barely anything like even now just tapping on it there's nothing so I know with a the mask there will be minimal transfer like I think it's impossible to get zero transfer on a mask because you're literally wearing it for hours on end if you're going out for a long time and it's just rubbing against your skin so if it's really I don't think it's possible to get a zero transfer like foundation but I feel like this is up there with the no like the transfer proof foundations if you're gonna wear masks so it's quite good um so yeah it's seven out of ten I'm really happy with it it's not my favorite favorite of the matte foundations but I'm pretty pleased with it and would I wear it again yes would I purchase it I don't think so I wouldn't purchase it just because of my skin type but again if you're considering buying this foundation and you don't have dry skin then definitely look at other people's reviews on YouTube and see for yourself if like it's worth buying because it could actually work really really well for someone with normal to combination to oily skin so yeah I thought I'd give it a go and yeah I'm not mad at it. Quick close up. There's definitely dryness on my nose. Don't know if you can see it, but it is very dry. It is okay. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it really helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.